Hi everyone, welcome to the second week. Um, the purpose of this video here is I would like to show you um, how we are going to be using the web application Creately to um, consult and brainstorm with our clients. And again, like we've been reading in the course, you know, the purpose of these consultations, the purpose of these brainstorming um, things that you're doing within your term project journal is just to make sure that you and your client are on the same page. You never want to move forward with a design uh, for a client unless you truly know that you're both on the same page. And something like utilizing something like Creately um, can help you uh, to make sure that you and your client are on the same page. So to get started, you know, go to Creately.com and then what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to set up an account. I actually already have an account set up, but um, so I'm going to, since my browser window here is a little smaller, I, I have to scroll over. So I'm going to go click on login and I'm going to enter, I've already set my account. You could sign up here, but I'm going to go ahead and enter. I'm going to log in. Now that I've logged in, I can then go over to this Creatly button again and I can click on Application. You're going to be seeing lots of pop up because they would love for you to purchase this. You do not have to purchase this. You can just X out of that. It's going to automatically load. Pre These templates are good, um, but let's. I think there's a way we could just. Uh, yeah, let's just start with a blank document. So basically this is just um, a blank space where you can um, draw different things, use different symbols, make flow charts, you can you know, add basic shapes, arrows, block shapes, yada, yada, yada. Down here at the bottom there's the option to get more objects. Um, some good objects you can choose from are business objects, um, networking objects you might want to use, web design obviously, so let's go ahead and load those. So now we have a lot more objects that we can kind of play with. Um, one of the things that you're going to be doing in the first week is just maybe communicating your uh, website name um, or and the purpose and the goals. Um, let's go ahead and let's see. just drag a shape straight on to the to the document here. Let's say I wanted to add some text to this shape. Let's say my website's name was Joe's Clunker Cars. Um, you can highlight that text. You can increase the font size. I'm purposefully not showing you exactly what I would like to see in your web images because I really want everyone to be creative and everyone's going to be making their image, their consultation images, their brainstorming images with their clients differently and they're going to be utilizing different shapes. So don't, I just don't want to push something out there saying this is exactly how I want these consultations to look because if I was to do that then everybody's would all look the same. So basically utilize all of these shapes over here. Uh, you don't have to utilize, sorry, you don't have to utilize all of them, but utilize some of the shapes over here and um, brainstorm with your client information about their site. In, in this week, we're, we're brainstorming the site name, the purpose, the goals, uh, some ideal or target users. Um, there's different shapes over here that could help you uh, do that. And we're going to be continually building within this image each week because next week we're going to be building in... Uh, well, you're going to be clarifying, uh, making sure that you fully have all the planning information in, in place, but then you're also going to be uh, building in some analysis information. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to export this image that you made as a JPEG, which you can then attach in the discussion here.